we're going to go ahead and build a monthly amortization table. Um, it could be for a lease with a estimated residual value or trade-in value for a car of $12,000 or perhaps a balloon loan where we have to pay off $12,000 at the end of the 36-month period. But we basically want to go ahead and use the payment function along with a future value. So let's go ahead and calculate our payment on our lease or loan. Equals payment, parenthesis, our rate is going to be 6%. Since this is an annual interest rate and we have monthly payments, we need to divide by 12. So 6% divided by 12. The number of periods, we've already stated that in terms of months, so we don't need to multiply by 12. Our present value of our loan or lease will be negative 30,000. That's the amount we're borrowing. And our future value, the balloon payoff or the residual value for the car we return, will be the 12,000. So let's go ahead and close the parenthesis and hit enter. So the payment on this lease would be $607.59 per month. Notice if we weren't making a uh, trade-in or it wasn't a lease with a residual value, our payment on an ordinary $30,000 car loan at 6% would be much higher. It would be $912, which again is one of the reasons we often turn towards leasing where we make one final uh, future payment. In this case, we assumed it would be $12,000, and that effectively lowers our payment. So let's go ahead and again anchor our cell reference to uh, cell C13 because we're going to always come back to the same payment. Our interest on our loan, again, was simply going to be our current loan balance, uh, which we don't have, but we can go ahead and put in, link that to cell E16, multiplied by our interest rate of 6%. And again, this time we need to divide by 12 because it's a monthly interest rate. And again, be sure we anchor the reference to cell C10, our interest rate. Let's go ahead and um, enter in our beginning loan balance here to make sure our interest is correct. And we've got interest of $150. Our principal on our loan, we're going to use simply relative cell references, remember. That's the difference between our payment minus the amount that gets credited towards interest. So $457 will go towards the uh, principal balance. Our new loan balance then will be our initial loan balance of 30000 minus the amount that was credited towards principal. Once we have our first row of our amortization table, we can take that, copy it all the way down through all 36 months, and notice the ending balance on our loan or lease is the 12000 that we had specified for the residual value up top. Had we put in $5,000 for an estimated residual value. Notice our payment goes up from $607 up to $785. And again, our amortization table shows our $5,000 residual value.